right, guys, so we're going to start off this cut uh, parting the hair straight down the center and then following that directly down center back and then combing each side off to the side. We're basing this haircut off of a center parting, but if you had a guest with a side parting, you could also do that as well. Just start off the haircut parting it on the side they wear it. Now we're gonna create a V shape on the front fringe. And basically the way that I uh, determine how far I want that V to go is where do I want the bangs to stop? So I go all, all the way out to the edge of the eyebrow and then I braid that section down. Um, you don't have to do this with your guests. You could twist it up. Sometimes that braid annoys people if it's hanging right in front of their face. Um, but sometimes a braid works really well to section off hair instead of using a clip. Uh, it's better for presentation. So what we're gonna do is start diagonal back right off of that triangle. So we're gonna follow the head shape down. Um, I'm gonna start creating that face frame so I cut my guide. I decide where I want those pieces to start falling along her face. Then as I move along the head shape, the head shape starts to move away from me. So the key thing I want you guys to focus on on this cut as we work through it is that my uh, elevation on the side of the head is gonna change. I'm gonna elevate more out away from the head uh, towards the camera uh, instead of uh, just bringing it straight over the face. What that's gonna do for me is it's gonna create that elevation and create more of a lighter face frame uh, for the guest. So now that I'm moving in the back of the head, you can see how high my elevation is compared to the beginning. Uh, if you rewind back to the beginning, you can see, but that elevation was right in front of her face, and then as I move to the back of the head, I start to elevate much, much higher to create that light feel. Now, this works for clients that have a super heavy amount of density as you're working through the head shape. But if they have really fine hair, you don't have to elevate as high because you don't wanna take out too much weight uh, as well. Also in the front, I grab my guide from a previously cut section. So I just kinda pull a piece over from the opposite side and then I start cutting and I do the exact same thing. We're mimicking um, the haircut on this side. The reason we're able to mimic the haircut is because it's parted in the center. If it was parted on uh, one of the sides, then I would definitely make sure to adjust my elevation based on uh, the lower density side and the higher density side. I would do definite higher elevation on the the higher density side or the side that you part over to. So now we're gonna comb out that fringe area and we're gonna grab one of my favorite tools. This is the carving comb from Donald Scott. I use the 100% carve side. This is available on freesaloneducation.com. It's the best $35 tool you'll ever buy. Uh, I'm using the wide tooth version of it and I just go through with a heavy stroke and uh, create that broken fringe that I'm gonna detail later in the dry cut. So then I add my Bricado uh, foam or Bricado mousse to the, to the haircut and I blow it dry. I'm using a flat wrap technique for the most part, just kind of working the hair all the way around the head uh, and keeping that nozzle aimed down. Uh, the reason you have shiny hair is because the cuticle lays nice and flat and it allows the sun to reflect off of it. So if you wanna create shiny, smooth hair, you gotta keep that nozzle and the air flowing over top of the hair. You don't wanna rough it up too much. So then I go through, use my Bricado Vibrastrate Iron uh, this is a really cool iron because it vibrates as it moves down the hair, so it creates less friction on the hair, and less damage, uh, which is one of my favorite things about that iron. Um, so now I've got the hair all smoothed out, prepped, and ready to go for my dry cutting. This is the Mizutani 5.5 inch puffin scissor. Uh, we actually just did a class and had a lot of great people in the class and they were really excited about the puffin scissor. So this is a good showcase of what it does. The thing I love about having a dry cutting scissor is the fact that um, dry hair can mess up a scissor. So um, if you have your main scissor for precision cutting, it's always good to have a dry cutting scissor. It's built to handle the um, dry hair so that you could see the thicker blade on it. It has more power uh, and works and glides through the hair much better. The blade is also uh, created to glide through the hair. So it's just a good tool to have to keep the life of your scissor, but also have a smoother feel uh, when you're going through and you're slide cutting, uh, point cutting like I'm doing. I'm taking those vertical sections. I'm just doing a nice deep parallel point cut. Uh, what that does is it doesn't take out a ton of weight, but just softens the edges, softens the ends of the hair to make them lay really nice and soft in the haircut. I do a little bit of a kind of concave, I guess, 
um, kind of whip the hair up a little bit and just detail the ends. And then I go through and I smooth out the bottom. I like to cut the perimeter last for the most part in most haircuts because um, I don't like to determine the length and, length and base the haircut off of the length that I created. I like to go in, create my layer length first because it, that's the most important part. Then at the very end, detail the uh, baseline of the haircut. Now we're just gonna do a slide cutting technique right through the face frame and in the fringe area. We did get a lot of texture from that Donald Scott carving comb. It was an easy way to quickly cut through the bangs. But now I just go through and detail them with the puff and scissor, half closing the scissor as I work my way down the hair. You could see that texture that really comes out of it. Finish it off with a little Bricado hairspray. And uh, that is our finished look. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was short and sweet. Definitely watch it a couple times. You'll pick up different things. But I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.